welcome back friends uh, in this video tutorial we'll be talking about what is called a dot matrix and what is dot matrix and we'll be learning how to construct a dot matrix now dot matrix or a dot plot is a type of uh, technique which we can utilize to align two sequence together now remember we can align only two sequence together and this dot plot is very extremely simple so the simplicity is the advantageous part of this dot plot but still it is uh, not uh, applicable to multiple sequence alignment right so you can uh, compare two sequences and find uh, and look for homologies okay so let me take a color okay anyways okay let's say let's let's move to the second so what is dot plot actually for the dot plot what we require we require two sequences uh, one is the query sequence one, one other one is the test or database sequence now another two important things for uh, which we need to consider for dot plot is sorry this window size and stringency the window size means the number of nucleotides we compare at a time so just learn and go through this part and uh, in in a few minutes you are going to be able what uh, understand what is going on now second part is stringency or threshold it is the minimum number of nucleotides in the window must be matched so that we can place a dot right this is called the stringency third thing is the mismatch limit so again mismatch limit is a completely opposite of stringency so the maximum number of nucleotide in the window can have not match okay so let's move on to the next so here it is now in this example what we can see is uh, the dot plot or they allow us uh, to make a dot plot using this two sequence so this is suppose the sequence 1 this one is a sequence 1 and this one is the sequence 2 both of them are placed in two different coordinates and what we need to construct we need to construct a dot we need to place a dot whenever we get a match now if they uh, are not telling us the this window size or the stringency it is completely depend upon our discussion that what kind of dot we are going to place suppose they are not talking about any window size or stringency whatever so what we can do here we can simply randomly put dots for example whatever we get a match we place a dot so here it is a sequence here is another sequence a match look at see a and a is a matching here so place a dot here now here say g and g is matching here place a dot a and a again match here so place an, a dot particularly in this case then a and g never match so no dot a and a matches so a dot now here's a g uh, is matching here with g a dot it is also matching with this g so place a dot here a is matching here it is matching here so here we go g match here a matches here okay now the t matches with this section so let's put a dot here now here g matches with this g so place a dot in this box now this g with again this g place another dot now this t with this t so place another dot here then g with again here it is a g and here it is a g okay now the actual goal of constructing this type of dot matrix is that to find the optimum arrangement in such a way so that we can draw a diagonal line now that is very very important we need to draw diagonal lines now we can see you, uh, when we uh, put all the dots here it is kind of a scattered plot like that okay but what we can see if we look at carefully what we can get is the idea of looking here that here it comes a line let me change the color let's take this black color this is a line so if we join the dots we get a diagonal here if we join it we get a diagonal here if we join it I get a diagonal here so this three sh short diagonals we can get by simply looking at in this case right but rest of the plots or rest of the dots are alone so we cannot make any kind of diagonal uh, by looking at them now remember if we get one here and one one uh, two or three uh, box away we cannot uh, make a diagonal we can get a diagonal if we are getting consecutive dots in the boxes in the small boxes so we can uh, put this line as a diagonal so this diagonal is telling us the match or matching region between two sequences that's very very important to construct these diagonals now we can construct the diagonal without having any window size or stringency but it is very very important to have the window size or stringency because look at here if we don't have any window size or stringency we get this this extra dots which are unwanted dots they simply arise due to chance factors like right? so if we simply put the rule of window size and stringency on ourselves for example we put the window size of 5 
that means we will take five uh, sequences at a time in both this case and stringency means we have to have at least seed matches to put dots so let us uh, apply this into our field so let us look at it so let me erase the color okay and take a new one here we go okay now in this case what we can say if we are having window size 5 stringency 3 so we'll be taking five nucleotide sequence at once so here it is from a to a so a g a g a this is five sequence in this coordinate and uh, obviously five sequence in uh, this coordinate too so we get five and five sequence both this case because we are taking window size of five that means we have to take five sequences to get this window so the total window is shaded with this gray color now what we need to put the stringency of three now if we get uh, at least three or more than three uh, matches then only we put the dot otherwise we won't put the dot so this is the scoring this is the type of rule that we are applying now so we are having stringency or threshold of greater than or equals to three that means if we get three match at least then only we put this dots so here it is a and a one match uh, we won't put the dot until and unless we get three matches g and g is a match a and a another match g and g so we are get getting four matches and our threshold is only 3 mass, so we can put the dots in these sections and obviously g and g ok so you can see by simply uh, providing the rule we can eliminate the rest of the part we can eliminate so we are providing all these things now let's go back uh, to uh, slide back a little amount so we get the first and then slide back to the next so there are a lot of combinations that can be possible so now we fix to this coordinate this y coordinate suppose this is x coordinate this is y so we fix on to this y coordinate but we slide one nucleotide to x coordinate previously it was a g a g a but now it was uh, we delete this a now g a g a and c so we include this one to get another window so here we get the shaded line of window again we're having five in y 5 in 5 in y and 5 in x coordinate because the window size is 5 now again we look for the match now well, if we get the match so these are the previous dots so let me take it so this is a dot here we put a dot here we put a dot here we put a dot so these are the previous previous dotted regions now if we slide here what we get we get a with g no match a with a one match sorry so we won't be putting the match here it is one match g with g is two match a with a is a three match right so if you just slide in this case so t with uh, c so there is no match here g with g it's a one match so g so what we get it's a a g a c so we can see that a g a there is a c match point at this particular place right but not more than three match con so what we get we want a consecutive match right so but we but we are not getting any consecutive match in all this case we are getting a GA which is 2 match we are getting AG and all these things but we are not getting consecutive match but we can see here we get consecutive match of 4 like AG AG so you can say AG AG so this is a 4 total match sequenced so that's why we put 4 matches but here we won't find any kind of consecutive match because GAG uh, so we get only 3 match consecutive here and here so for if we get 3 match we will be putting the dots it's wrong here no match it's wrong so we must put dot here in this case in this particular section this one then this one uh, sorry it won't be here so here this definitely we should be here a with a and g with g so this should be here and g with g so whatever match we got in this particular case whatever match we've got in this case is simply the ma the points which we have got in earlier case right so no new uh, dot need to be plotted here okay now we again shift back to further 5 so we shift back another nucleotide now it is AGACT now again A with A we get a match so we can say AGA so we get AGA so we get C matches here again AGA in this particular case again AGA in this particular case so in this case also we'll be putting the dot so here it's a dot here it's a dot here it's a dot and the T here we get another dot but we won't join this dot so we'll be joining this three again for forming a diagonal so in all this case what we get you can see a diagonal coming out in this case in the previous case uh, we have solved this problem without using any window size and stringency but in those case what we have found that we got many different dots many different dots uh, we, we, we've got puzzled right so get rid of this particular thing is important and to get rid of this thing we need to apply some rules the rules of window size and stringency once we add the rule of window size and stringency all the rest of the mismatch dots will go away and we only stick to 
the basic dot and the right amount or the perfect type of matches that's why we put these rules okay okay so you can see you will slide through this point to find out matches or mismatches for example if we look at here uh, in this particular case if we look at in this GACTC so GAGT so we don't get any match we get a match so let me take a color again in this case we get a match of GA GA sections but it is only 2 remember our stringency is greater than or equals to 3 so if we get only th if we get at least 3 match we can put the dot but we are getting only 2 match so we won't put any dot here so if we are not applying any rules we must put dots here but now due to this rule of stringency of 3 or uh, uh, 3 we cannot put dots so that's how we can eliminate the unwanted dots using the rules of window size and stringency now the another important thing is that the window size and stringency is a thing that is uh, provided or that is produced by ourselves that is selected by our choice and that is completely trial and error process so for a particular match or mismatch system we will vary the window size and stringency to get a particular desired match okay so that we get a perfectly aligned sequence okay so this is completely different now here lies the problem with this dot plots now as this window size and stringency can be variable to complete completely is, is in our hand so we can vary them so we can get variation in the result right so that's why it is not that much stable amount it is not giving a stable amount of data so that is a problem with this dot plots okay so if we look at the example, this is the second example of comparing these two sequences. Now once we compare these two sequences, remember again, so in this sequence also what we can see is that if we, if, we, uh, we, if we are not talking about any window size and stringency, there should be many dots. Like say, here should be a dot. Here can be a, uh, so let's say here G with G, this would be a dot. Then C with C, this, this regions will provide a dots. Right? But using the window size of 5 stringency of C, we eliminate all this rest of the dots and we stick to this particular 4 dots to give this diagonal and this diagonal is telling us the perfect matched regions of the dot plots. Okay, so that's how dot, dot plots are created and then what we can see, we can simply align those sequences like this T with G, it should be a mismatch, then G with G, uh, here it is. It shouldn't be a match here because uh, we don't get a diagonal in this particular place. So what we can put, we put a gap against this G and we can put a gap against this G. Now here it is T with A, it's again a mismatch. Then what we get A with A, which is a perfect match. Then so on, we'll be putting our sequences. Then C with C is a match. Then again A with A, it's another match. So C with C to C and A with A will be another match. Okay, and so on, so we'll be making the alignment using this formula like that okay so uh, the, the advantage of this dot plot it is extremely simple we can align two sequences pretty easily and pretty quick uh, the data interpretation is easy but the difficult part is that the disadvantage is that as they are lying on the window size and stringency which we can vary it can give us many variation of results so the so the result that we stick to can be varied it is not an ideal uh, way of plotting things. Okay, so that's why it, this mod, this this dot plots are getting modified. But we apply this dot plot uh, uh, system or approach uh, for the FASTA algorithm. Remember, if we talk about FASTA, it's not a format. If we talk about FASTA algorithm, FASTA algorithm usually uses this dot matrix analysis and finally elongate this analysis, incorporating newly scoring matrix like PAM or Blossom matrix to finally uh, provide us a suitable and better results okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you